Hey there everybody, Chime Time here. Oh, camera's going out of focus. Today what I'm doing a review of today is my Seiko carriage clock. It's not too large compared to this one. They're kind of about the same size. This one is kind of long longer. Yes, this one now lives over here because um, this one also has a Seiko movement. So I decided to put the two Seikos next to each other. Uh, we're going to film this one doing its quarter. But before we get to that... Let's switch the clock around so I can show you guys the back. This is not its original speaker, by the way. Um, I put a new speaker in there uh, because the old one died. So that's that one speaker. I soldered it. You can kind of see my soldering work right about there. Yeah, it's not too great, but... The clock works, it chimes and everything. Yes, it has two chimes. It has uh, Westminster and Whittington. It's on Westminster right now. You can kind of see the transparent work. Um, it's almost time for this thing to do its quarter, so... Might as well switch it back and wait. So while we're waiting, I thought I might mention something about this clock. Um, this clock does have a few interesting features. Uh, when you first press the AM and PM button, uh, what, what you saw on the back, the clock will go out of sync. It will strike 1 o'clock again. So when that happens, um, the clock, you have to manually set the clock again. And, um, well not really manually, but you would have to uh, put the clock back in sync again afterwards. And you have to let it chime or else it will chime the same times it did before when you set it off. You can't just go, no, no. This one, you actually have to let it chime. That's vintage for you. But it's actually about to go off. You may hear the other ones go off. I have the anniversary clock, the pillar and scroll clock, and this one on. So you may hear the other ones go off. But you'll hear this one very clearly. This one has a pretty good speaker in it, too. It's from the old grandfather clock. Oh, there goes that one. And this one will go off on its own. Yep. That was this one. So I can actually demonstrate this clock for you, because the way the chime switches work is that um, I can uh, do this. This is Whittington. That's its highest volume. And here's Westminster. Yeah. I'm very happy I own this carriage clock because I was actually starting to feel doubtful that it wasn't going to come in. But once I saw the delivery guy deliver it, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.